Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are staying safe. And finally, I'm back from my vacations of my birthday. So finally, back to the studio. Uh, I couldn't post a lot of videos because I was traveling and uh, roaming around and watching uh, different historical places. So I was there uh, celebrating my birthday and having a vacation. So it is very important that uh, no matter how much you trade or what you do, you should also spend some time for yourself. Because end of end of the day, what you earn is for yourself. So if you do not enjoy it, uh, I I would say for me there is no motivation to you know work hard. So anyways, I had good relaxation time, uh, good refreshing mindset, and finally back to the market. So I hope you guys had a great uh, weekend of trading in this week, and I hope you guys traded safe and observed and learned a lot of new things. So Nifty Nifty is in the peak. So Nifty has not broken out yet. So anytime Nifty can break out, we are all waiting for that. Most of them are waiting. Basically, whoever is having a portfolio will be waiting basically. And even short term traders also will be waiting because now if Nifty is breaking, there are a lot of stocks will have a breakout and a lot of price action traders will take an advantage also. So a lot of things are connected. <clears throat> Two stocks which we have is DLF. So DLF is a stock uh, which is going up uh, basically from a correction point of view. So let's say this is the resistance point. So there can be a breakout also, maybe something like a triangle pattern, symmetrical triangle. But anyways, I will be adding levels only for uh, intraday scalping and moreover RSI is only at 56. So if there is an upside, yes, there is a potential of breakout happening for a short term trader, but scalper can take advantage anytime. Tata Steel has uh, is staying in the peak right now. If you see, this is the point of breakout for uh, Tata Steel. I would say this is a 52 week high overall if you see. So it is trading exactly over there. So let's say if Nifty is breaking or Nifty is supporting, the market is supporting globally, everything is supporting. Tata Steel has a potential to break out its own high. So a lot of price action traders also will take advantage when there is a breakout. So as an intraday scalper, you can also either as a short term trader, you can observe or as an intraday scalper, you can observe when they are taking advantage, we can scalp at each levels and take that advantage. So these are the few logics for you guys uh, for beginners. So these are my levels uh, for DLF. Uh, immediate resistance is going to be 302, 306, 310, 315 and 320 levels in case there is a breakout of this level. Okay, but you don't know as an in, uh, intraday where it opens because from where it opens only an intraday scalper can take advantage. So wherever it opens from that point of view, you have to consider. Support is going to be 298 and 294. Same for Tata Steel, whether we don't know it's going to open gap up or correction is going to happen. But end of the day for intraday scalper, we will see where it is going to open. So let's say if it is opening in this range or this range, these are the levels. So. 1242, 1250, 1260, 1275, I would say max to max. Because breakout is happening, it, if it is a big volume candle, then we can't do anything, it can just break out. If you are able to catch that levels, observe that levels, you can observe. If it is opening gap up or gap down, then you can observe these levels easily. So support is going to be 1230, 1215. So these are the levels which an intraday scalper can observe in your learning practice in case you don't have any stocks to observe as a beginner. So these are the basic learning things which I normally tell a lot of beginners to do because this is the foundation. So if you don't observe the market, if you observe the market, you can teach somebody else. So if you just keep asking somebody what's going to happen, what's going to happen, lifelong you will be learning what's going to happen. So this type of observations will make you independent trader and will give you some maturity in the market. You will understand how market works. So based on that, you will try to reduce your risk. So that's how you grow. That's how I've grown. So that's the reason I'm just helping out few of them because it is helping few of the traders. So all this is are only for learning purposes. I do not give any buy call or sell call. I never give that in any platform. So do remember that. So this is only for learning and observations purpose only. So kindly do your observations. And if you have any extra things, if you want to add on, definitely you can add on. There are so many uh, indicators and many things which you can add on. And you would have learned many indicators in my channel itself. If you want to experiment that, you can definitely experiment with Stochastic, Bollinger, whichever. Uh, you want to use you can use it also if you want you can experiment with Haikanashi like I have told you it Bollinger Bands so hope uh, this video was an add-on trade safe uh, let's uh, start learning new new concepts again so a lot of things in my mind so see you soon with one more learning video till then take care bye bye